This is a real nice valley here. Very nice. I like there. People from people from all over. So here's the mountain of Bugarash. Uh, they were waiting for the end of the world on, uh, I don't know, the, uh, uh, that the uh, December the 31st, nothing happened apparently, here in the south of France. So I would love to see one, uh, a UFO, one or, one or two, that would be nice, but there won't be anything. Um, Bugarash. Just click on pause if you want to read that. Just click pause to read that. So I slept here next to the UFO base. <laughs> so here in 2000, December 2012, there were uh, 230 reporters from all over the world because uh, people spread the, uh, the information that there were UFOs being sighted here. I can guarantee you that none of the French who was here really believed in it they just wanted to have a mega party that's all <laughs> i spoke to some people but there were some others who took it very serious the police and they even forbid anybody to go here so this much we are their slaves we can't even in nature we can't even have a big party everything is forbidden they were here with many many police and uh, helicopters and they just dragged everybody away there's no freedom at all even if you want to have a big party so I spent the night here but nothing really happened uh, I opened up my tent on this side to have a look every now and then when I woke up didn't see anything no lights nothing just bullocks this is what's left of the party. <laughs> um, with the turn of the Mayan calendar on the 21st of December, they were um, closing down the region of Bugarach, which is here down in the Old Valley in the south of France. Um, the Bugarach has for a long time been a, a central point where they believed that a lot of people would come. And the local mayor himself actually brought the Bugarach to the public eye through the world by saying that they were very worried about the amount of tourists who were going to come. But at the end of the day, there were no tourists, but there were many, many journalists. Um, all of the hotels were full of journalists, and um, from the reports that I heard, they ended up interviewing themselves because there was nobody else there to actually speak to apart from a group of locals who I heard dressed up as extraterrestrials and were running around the village of Bugarach trying to entertain the journalists. Um, so the hype never worked and what took, over, um, what took place at Bukharach over those days is only possibly for the mayor and the authorities to know 
but I don't think the journalists really had a very interesting time. But I'm sure they enjoyed the mountain and the hospitality of the local people and their own stories. So the people didn't take it serious. There were 230 journalists interviewing themselves and there was the army and the police. So it was only the enemy within who was there and the people didn't, uh, didn't even come and, and, and fall into the trap, <laughs> as you can say that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh So everywhere where the pharaohs came, they put their castles first. So they had a stronghold to terrorize the population and to, uh, to dominate them. So this is the uh, Bougarash, no UFOs. Well, well, an obelisk, well that explains it all. <laughs> so first they invite with their media, pharaonic media, all these people to come here and then they forbid with their octagon blue army all these people to have a party here so they're just playing games with us you know it's a psychological game to see how many people would believe what well and then they uh, draw their conclusions out of it for the next like false flag operation uh, how do people react and how many people, what percentage, Every, everything is being analysed. You know, it's just a game. Well, let's say if you were an, a, uh, an alien and you like to analyse people, how people would react on aliens. It would be a very interesting thing to put up a lie like this here. You see, and see how many people are ready to believe uh, in an alien invasion. So this here is also a, uh, a, a game with fear, as they always do it, and to distract our uh, attention from other things which are more important uh, happening in the world. I think that's an eagle flying there. So do Nagler. So this is an Adler. Wow. Couple of eagles. Two of them. I saw three. Well, this is more important than this uh, the alien lie by the pharaohs who probably are from another planet. Um, 